Hi everyone, my name is Corey Dow and I'm a technical marketing engineer with HP Aruba Networking. In today's session, we're going to cover a release update uh, specifically for a new switch that we recently introduced. It's a CX6300M 48 port smart rate switch and this session will cover the hardware MPI training for it. So let's get right into it. Okay, so where does the new S series class of 6300M switches fit within the uh, industry? Um, and what capabilities in the market does it bring? So as you can see in this bullet or this, uh, this illustration on the left, we su support the full MACSEC AES support on uh, all the uplinks and downlinks. So this would allow you to expand campus deployments across shared spaces where you need to secure the links you know, between these shared spaces. We also have a PTP transparent clock and um, audio video bridging AVB coming after the first release, uh, which helps to improve quality for time and latency sensitive data like audio and video. And then finally, we, we now have 48 ports of smart rate 10 class eight PoE power at 90 watts to provide power and connectivity to devices, systems and infrastructure. They're increasingly requiring uh, more power to to uh, power those uh, those newer APs and uh, other devices like the cameras that that draw more power. Okay, so let's take a look at this new switch introduction in more detail. So you can see that the, the uh, two SKUs that we've introduced, the S0E91A and S0X44A uh, TAA switches, uh, they're identical um, in makeup. It's just that the S0X44A is a TAA compliant switch. And you can see the layout um, in this new series. Uh, I'm also calling it the S series just because the SKUs start with an S. Uh, the prior generations of the 6300 that we released about a year and a half ago were the R series. And so uh, this is the, the next generation of, of that platform uh, that we're excited to introduce. And you can see what the new product introduces, uh, basically, and we'll go through the bullets. So uh, the S-series switches deliver 48 ports of 10 gig base T smart rate uh, for the downlink copper ports, uh, in addition to class 8 PoE. It's purpose built for IoT, Wi-Fi 6 connections, and PTB, uh, PTP AVB applications. Uh, we have PTP support now for transparent clock, and the AVB uh, support will come in a in a newer version of the 10.13 software, uh, which is the minimum release for this, this product line. And so uh, the first uh, 4100G capable switch that we released uh, is this one. You can see the four by 100 gigabits uh, uplinks that you see here on the right-hand side of the board. And we also have full MACSEC AES 256-bit security on all of the downlink ports in addition to the uplink ports. And so we also have simplified management via Web UI, REST APIs, and Aruba Central, and advanced configuration through VSF stacking, uh, eVPN, VXLAN, and dynamic segmentation. The VSF stacking is available other 6300 models at 10, 25, and 50 gigabits per second. Uh, you need to have the QSFP28 to SFP28 adapter to downshift from the 100 gigabits down to either 10 or 25 gigabits per second. And then we also have a custom stacking cable that is coming in a later release that will provide the 50 gig stacking uh, with the prior generations. And all this is backed by a limited lifetime warranty. On this slide, let's take a look at the differentiation from the prior generations of the 6300M. Again, the R series that I mentioned. Uh, and so the new 6300M platforms here are in orange. And so you can see uh, right out the bat, so again, the, we offer the Class 8 PoE and the, the four port 40 by 100 G um, uplink support. So that makes it actually a little bit closer to the 8360 from a comparison perspective um, than the prior generations of the 6300M, uh, with the exception that we, we still have 10 G support, just like we see here for the 89A series. Uh, as for LR, LRM support, there's no support for any of these platforms. Um, and as I mentioned on the prior slide, the QSA, QSFP28 to SFP28 adapter is supported on the new uh, S-series switches, uh, which isn't supported on the prior ones, obviously, because they don't support QSFP28. 
And so this adapter can be used to VSF stack with prior generations. And again, this makes it look a little bit closer to the Aruba 8360 platform. Uh, as for breakout cables for 4100G support, uh, we don't support these breakout cables uh, for any of these platforms. Uh, these are also known as hydro or split cables, uh, and uh, they, they are not supported for, for these classes of switches. Um, as for the airflow, it's the same as the prior generations, the front to back power, uh, front to back airflow, uh, that's not configurable, whereas it is on the 8360 platform. And then across the board, console support, RJ45 and USB-C, which is standard for all of our different platforms. Okay, and continuing to look at some of the comparisons, pretty pretty similar to the other products from a management perspective. Uh, same across the board, one gig base T for the Adobe management networks, uh, USB 2.0 type A connections, and VSF stacking, uh, 10 member support, which is similar to the prior generations. Uh, VSX is not supported on these platforms, as you can see. And the power supply units, you can see that these are the same power supply units uh, that were used on the on the prior generations. A uh, little bit different power supplies in the 8360. Uh, supported fan trays, this is also something that's unique to the new 6300S series, is that we have three fan trays now versus the two that we had in the prior generations, uh, which again makes it a little bit somewhat more similar to the 8360. Uh, and as for fan redundancy, we have a uh, N plus one fan rotor redundancy in the prior generations, but in the 6300M platform, we have N plus one fan tray redundancy, uh, which allows for redundancy in the case that you have a fan tray that is uh, not performing. So you've got N plus one for the fan tray itself versus on the prior generations. It couldn't sustain a um, a, a, a fan, fan tray failure. Uh, just due to thermal conditions, uh, they, they couldn't cool the system if this uh, experienced a uh, uh, fan tray failure. So that's something that is unique to this series as well. Uh, and then max PoE power, we can see it comes in at 2640 watts. It's a little bit lower, as you can see, when compared to the um, to the R8 S90A SKU at 2880 watts. And the main reason is just that the newer platforms to support the 4100 gig transceivers, they run a little bit hot. So the system uh, requires a little bit of extra power uh, that it needs to reserve for, for those transceivers, which makes it not available for the PoE. And again, just uh, taking a look at it in a little bit more detail uh, for these, these uh, two new um, S-series SKUs. So we've already mentioned the downlink and uplink support. Uh, as far as the PoE power, if we break this down a little bit, so um, because it is supporting class eight PoE, we can only support up to 90 watts uh, for 29 downlink ports with class eight PoE and up to 44 downlink ports with class six PoE at, at 60 watts. Uh, and then you can see the operating temperature that we have here for the, for the unit. And then the cooling fans and PSUs. So again, we have three fan trays with six fan rotors um, for optimal, optimal acoustic level. Uh, already covered the airflow, uh, intelligent and efficient thermal management. So it, it can adjust the fan speed based on what it's seen with the ambient uh, temperature around it. And then again, the modular fan trays and PSUs, which are customer replaceable. And then the weight and the dimensions is taking a look at it. So it weighs in at 20.86 pounds um, and 17.43 inches in width by 18.58 inches in depth and then 1.73 inches in height. Uh, this comes in a little bit deeper than the prior generations and just something to be aware of, but they do use the same mounting kits. So um, it's just a, so just something to be aware of. And also let's just take a look at the transceivers that are supported in the first release for these uh, these new S-series switches. Uh, I've included the transceiver guide at the top here, this link, uh, which is really valuable. It's, it always has the most updated information as to the transceivers, whereas these slide presentations are kind of only updated once during the initial release. So uh, always do check the transceiver guide for the latest information on the transceivers. And so just looking through this a uh, little bit more, so I've highlighted these in blue. So these are the new transceivers, not specifically for uh, the uh, for HP or Ruben networking, but these are new 
to the S series switches as they now support QSFP28. Uh, so you can see I've I've lined these up, uh, you know, basically from the 100 G speeds all the way down to 40, down to the 25 and 10 gig support that's there. So the 10 and 25 gig support, none of this has really changed. Um, this is this is all, you know, been released with the prior versions of the 6300M. Uh, and so I've got the transceivers here on the left, and then the adapter, DAC, and AOC cables. And so again, as I mentioned before, to do any kind of VSF stacking with prior generations, you need to be aware of this uh, QSFP28 to SFP28 adapter, which you can use to downshift or use the uh, AOC adapters that you see down here to, to link at 25 uh, gig uh, and or the 10 gig that you see over here with J9153B. Um, And just a word of note, the JL563A and, and B, uh, 10 gig, 10, so the JL563A and JL563B, 10 gig base T SFP adapters, these can't be used in this SFP28 or the QSFP28 to SFP28 adapter. Uh, those are not not supported. And another option that's coming in a, in a, uh, in a newer version of the 1013 release, is this custom DAC cable that I mentioned earlier. So this will allow you to do VSF stacking with prior generations at the native 50 gig speeds that's common to all of those platforms. So just be aware that this is coming in a, in a future release. Okay, and with that, I'd like to just thank you for attending the session and for listening to an overview of the new 6300M S series switches. Thank you again and have a nice day.